That being said, I think that these are a phenomenal value. That feels super snug. It feels surprisingly good. Now the thing that uh, was interesting to me about these is that they have like the buttons on one side and then this other box. I don't know what it does on the other. So at least it's going to be balanced because my biggest problem with the Taltronics that I have is that they're super light but there's only one like a one box like the volume control box on one side so they as you run it just tends to shift around a lot so hopefully these will sit on the neck better and uh, because of that hopefully they'll stay in my ears better currently I run with the Yemen Ren M8 because uh, they have an over the ear loop design um, and I also generally prefer uh, to have like the true wireless headbuds so that I don't have this um, little ponytail behind me but I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna go for my eight mile run today and see how they do. I'm about a little over a mile into the run. So far, the headphones are doing great. Fit is really good. Pair it up super easy, just hold down the power button for an extra long time since it's pairing. And then I found it on the phone. Full disclosure on these headphones, I did get them sent to me for free uh, by the, uh, I don't know about if it's from the manufacturer, but at least from the, um, the lister on Amazon. Uh, but they, there is no obligation for a good review. They're not gonna see anything that I post before I post it and they will have no editorial control. And then once I'm done with these, I'll probably give them to uh, like a niece or nephew or something. But so far, I'm sweating moderately. Usually with headphones of this style, they fall out for me as I start running because I just sweat too much. And so let's see how these hold up over the next seven miles. I'm about four miles and chain, maybe four and a quarter miles in. I'm gonna run, I'm at the Navy Pier Ferris wheel. This has been the turnaround point for my runs lately. I'm trying to run a little bit longer, extend that mileage base during the week. I'm gonna do a quick test, take a break here, do a quick test of the microphones. I'm using the iPhone and then I don't know which side the microphone is on, but I'm testing out the microphone here. Um, so far, these headphones are great. I feel them a little bit as I like have to turn my head and uh, 
at first they were bouncing a little bit, but now that I've been sweating quite a bit, it's weighed them down or made them kind of stick to my neck, which sounds uncomfortable and to an extent it is, but you, you kind of get used to it. But um, they're staying in. I'm sweating like crazy, but they're staying in, which my Tautronics ones couldn't. I mean, maybe I can make those fit better if I switch like the ear cups. I've been thinking that I need the small ear cups, like the part that cups in your, goes into your ear. I don't know if that's the right word. But with these, I just use the medium sized ones that they came with. Um, that seems to be feeling good. It's not uncomfortable at all. And um, they haven't popped out yet. The one thing that I will say though, that I think these, they're tuned for extra bass or what I think is happening is they've just turned down the treble. So it feels kind of like the music's a little bit hollow in a way. Um, I think they're just trying to bump the boost, which I can appreciate because a lot of times with these cheaper Bluetooth headphones, these are listed at $25 and change um, at the time of this review. So, um, and I'll put a link to it in the description, but um, yeah, cheaper ones like this, like the Tautronics ones, I think I bought for 40. The Axio Dash, which I bought and then broke after a month, I think those were 50. The Yemen Runs, which is M8s, which is what I normally run in, those I think were 40. So uh, all of those, the bass isn't that great and to the extent that they start slipping out of your ear and the suction isn't right there, then the bass like performance really, really drops. Um, but these uh, are okay. I think they overcompensate just a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna head back, uh, head back home, grab some water. There's a little water fountain over at the uh, Oak Street Beach. Not too far from here, that's where you usually stop for water. And then, uh, and then we'll have fun. spent pretty much the entire day with these headphones and I would say I don't like the way that these look. I understand the function and I like the fact that there's two of them because it keeps these nice and balanced especially when I'm running but I think these look a little bit goofy like really really long dangling earrings and um, I mean even if I got these in the black cable I still think that this would really bother me. That being said I think that these are a phenomenal value for like 25 bucks. I think it's like 25, 50 or something like that. 25, maybe 26 dollars. I think for that price, these are amazing headphones. I think that one thing that I don't like is that all these four buttons that are here. The top one is volume, and if you hold it down, it advances to the next track. The middle one is power. The third one is volume down. The fourth one 
there's a little camera icon on it. It actually just maps to, it doesn't open up the camera app or anything like that. It just maps to volume up, which will take a picture or start a video if you're in the camera app, at least for an iPhone. I don't know about an Android phone at this time. I haven't tested that out yet. Uh, some of these buttons, they're hard to find, so I wish there was like a little nub or some other tactile way for me to figure out which button I'm pressing. So that's a little bit hard to find, but I think with some practice and some muscle memory, um, you'd get used to it pretty quick. Um, the bass response thing, like it's the treble is a little bit off, it's a little bit muted, and I think that's a little bit of a problem. But um, overall, I think these are a really good headphone for 25 bucks, and um, I think overall it's a thumbs up. Yo, what's going on?